guys, Kate from Crocoblock is here. Today we're going to create the online shop from scratch using Jetwe Builder plugin. Before we start, please make sure that you have the latest versions of WooCommerce and Jetwe Builder plugins installed and active. After that, check if appropriate widgets, which we are going to use for creating our product page templates, are enabled. You can do it in Elementor, Jetwe Builder settings, Available widgets tab. To put it simply, a properly working online shop consists of products certainly and template pages. Before you start creating template pages, please make sure that you've added all the products and all the attributes of your products to the WordPress dashboard. Basically, template pages allow us to pull the product data from the dashboard, customize it and then finalize it on the front end. So we will have to create three Jetwood templates. Single a template layout of a single product in your shop archive, a template layout of one product item in your shop page, and shop, a template layout of all products in your online shop. So let's start with the single page template. Click on WooCommerce, Jetwood Templates, Add New. In this template is for dropdown, select the option Single. Give a name to your template. Choose the way you want the future product page to look like and press Create Template button. Here's our single page template. It is created with the help of Jetwo Builder single product widgets, which are available just for the single page template. This page layout is fully editable. You can simply remove the widgets you don't need and add the ones you'd like to see on the website. For that, just type in the word single in the widget search bar to find the list of single product widgets. Once done customizing, click Publish button to save the changes and go back to WordPress dashboard. Cool, now we need to create the archive template. The procedure here is pretty much the same, which makes the Jetwo Builder plugin very simple and easy to use. Isn't that great? So, let's go to WooCommerce, Jetwo Templates, Add New. In this template is for dropdown, select the option Archive, give a name to your template. Select the pre-made layout and press Create Template button. Please note that you can easily style your archive template with the help of archive product widgets that can be found in the Jetwo Builder tab of the Widgets panel. Also, sometimes you might see a grayed out or, in other words, empty block of the widget. Don't worry, this means that this particular value of the product is not filled out in the Products section in the dashboard. So, for example, you have 10 products on sale now, but the other 50 ones are with the regular price. So the sale badge widget that we have in the top of the archive product template will be empty for the other 50 products. The value of each product on the front end is displayed according to the info from the product section. So if you see an empty widget block in the page builder, it's not a bug or a glitch in the system, it's just some product info missing in the dashboard. Once done editing, click Publish button and go back to WordPress dashboard. Now let's proceed with the shop template. Go to WooCommerce, chat with templates, add new. In this template is for dropdown, select the option shop, give a name to your template. You can either choose the layout or leave it empty to customize it with the product widgets later. Click create template button to find out what I mean. So. There are three widgets that can be used with the shop template page. Products list, products grid and products loop. Products grid and products list widgets give you the opportunity to use multiple pre-made product layouts. Like this one. Or like this one. Or just like this. Keep in mind that you can customize these widgets the way you want with basically zero coding skills. And what about products loop? To put it simply, this widget takes the appearance of one product item from the archive template and pulls it into a grid. So if you already perfectly customized your archive template and you want the products in your shop to be displayed just like that, feel free to use products loop widget. And keep in mind that in the future, if there will be a need to update its appearance, it will have to be done in the archive template. Great, let's click Publish button and return to the WordPress dashboard. Now we need to assign all custom templates to the website pages. For that, go to WooCommerce, Settings, Jetwo Builder tab. In general, 
Please make sure that the archive widgets render method is set to Elementor default. In shop page section, tick enable custom shop page. In the product shop template, select the template we just finished creating. And repeat the same procedure with the single product and products archive sections. Then scroll down and press save changes button. Now let's check out our great looking shop page that we created in less than 10 minutes. Here's our stylish single product page with the captivating and user-friendly layout. Customers can easily click through the gallery or leave a satisfied feedback. So guys, I'll leave the links to the Jetway Builder plugin and much more in the description below. Feel free to ask questions in the comments if you have some. And thanks for watching this tutorial. Support us with your likes, subscribe to our channel and check out our friendly Facebook community. Cheers guys!